If you're hoping to grow in the ranks of your company, make sure that you're working year round to develop your role. Show up with some goals that you have to grow and develop the company and yourself. Welcome to another episode of the Workforce Link podcast, where we're offering forward-thinking conversations for the workforce, linking employers and job seekers to a brighter tomorrow. I'm your host, Sunday Joe Graham with the Central Workforce Development Region, and I am glad to be back with you for another episode of the Workforce Link podcast. You know, maybe it's that time again, time for the yearly performance review. Some have anticipation, others dread it. Will your work record be scrutinized? In today's economy, have you proved your position is worth saving? You know, thoughts like that can bring on unnecessary stress, but it doesn't have to be like that. Your performance review can open the door for some great opportunities to show the positive impact that you have had on the company. In today's episode of the Workforce Link podcast, we're going to discuss some tips on how you can be prepared for the next performance review. And speaking of reviews, if you haven't already, mind heading over to wherever it is that you enjoy podcasts and leave us a review. Share this podcast with others. You know, whether you're sharing with another business owner or a team member who might need a little help pushing through, let them know about this podcast, would you? We want to help as many people as possible when in the workforce. And word of mouth is the best way to make that happen. You can find us all over the place. Apple, Spotify, theworkforcelink.com. We're pretty much everywhere, so it's easy for you to spread the word. And thank you in advance for being willing to do so. So now that we've taken care of that, let's dive into today's episode on how to rock your next performance review. So as we've already talked about, overthinking your performance review can bring on some much needed stress. Don't do that to yourself, okay? That doesn't mean, though, that it's not important to prepare. So here are some tips to help, okay? I'm going to give you four tips to pay attention for sure to, but stay tuned for the last one because I'm going to give you a bonus tip, all right? So number one, have an open mind. You know, criticism is good for growth if it is the right kind of criticism, right? We should all be open to constructive criticism. And here's the thing. We all have things we can do to improve ourselves, You know, don't be defensive if your boss points out some things that you need to work on, because if you embrace constructive criticism, you can use that to improve, right? And why would we not want to improve? So I repeat, do not be defensive. Be willing to take feedback to tell you how you can do better. And let me just tell you, the teachable people, it's the teachable people that stand out. The teachable team members who get promotions and raises. So be teachable because it literally pays off, all right? So number one, have an open mind. Number two, don't get surprised. So the last thing you want to do is walk into your performance review and get a nasty surprise that you didn't expect. How do you avoid this? Well, you ask for feedback all year long. Don't just wait for the day of your performance review. Don't assume that no news is good news. Ask how you're doing. Ask what you can do differently. And if you know there's something that you struggle with, don't wait until day 365 to talk about it, right? So I'll give you one of my own examples. I swear that you'd think filling out my timesheet would take a rocket scientist, okay? I suck at it. I can write you a book, a blog post, I can create a podcast episode, ask me to fill out a timesheet, and my brain freezes. I I don't know why I'm serious. Like, why it's so hard, I have no idea. And it was recognized in my last performance review. But I wasn't surprised by it because I'd acknowledged the problem before we ever got there. And I don't I don't get to just make excuses for not doing it right. I have to fix it because, well, you got to turn in your timesheet. Right. But the good news is I've gotten much better. So make sure that you're keeping your boss updated, too, on the on the status of projects that you're working on. Ask them if you're going in the right direction or ask them if they have changes that they recommend. Don't be afraid to ask and acknowledge ahead of time things you need to work on. So you want to have an open mind and you don't want to be surprised. Do you want hands-on experience as you decide what career you want to pursue? Through on-the-job training, work experiences, and apprenticeships, Central Missouri Job Center staff are ready to help set you up for success today. 
Learn more about our on-the-job training program, which is an excellent opportunity to get hands-on experience from an employer while earning a paycheck. It's a win-win for everyone. Employers get the workforce they need and you get the experience you need. Or there's our work experience program, which is available to job seekers ages 14 to 24 who have little or no past work experience. This provides the opportunity to meet with prospective employers while also taking advantage of critical workplace training. Gaining work experience gives you the needed work background to secure future jobs. And don't forget about our registered apprenticeship opportunities, which is an alternative earn while you learn combination of training and employment. Apprentice workers gradually earn more as they reach higher levels of productivity. In addition to rewarding performance, a registered apprenticeship combines employer-driven, job-related instruction with extensive on-the-job learning under the supervision of a trade professional. After completing a registered apprenticeship, the apprentice receives a nationally recognized occupational credential that communicates the standards and high level of training that their employer provides. To learn more about our work-based learning programs, visit cwdregion.com slash learning today and find the Central Region Job Center near you. Again, that's cwdregion.com slash learning. And now back to the show. Number three, show your growth. Have you addressed the weak spots that were maybe acknowledged in past reviews? You know, make sure you don't just tell your boss that, but show that. If you received some constructive criticism last year, make sure your boss knows that you've worked to make those improvements. You know, did your boss tell you to do better at filling out your timesheet? Well, guess what? Make sure you're paying attention to that. Make sure you're doing better. If I'm waiting until week 51 before I, you know, start making changes, I've shown no initiative to do or be better, right? Why would I expect a good review? Why would I expect a raise, a promotion, whatever it may be? If you were asked to improve on how you communicate with your other coworkers, for example, maybe hopefully again, you're not waiting until week 51 to start making progress in that area, right? That's not going to help you. It's only going to hurt you. Okay, so number one, have an open mind. Two, don't get surprised. Number three, show your growth. And number four, come with a plan. So if you're hoping to grow in the ranks of your company, if that's a possibility, make sure that you're working year round to develop your role. Show up with some goals that you have and and those goals should involve growing and developing the company and yourself. Are you struggling with uh, some expectations of your role? Well, just be honest about that. Don't just talk about what you're struggling with. Talk about a plan that you have to address that struggle. Maybe you've uh, found some extra trainings that you can do, or maybe you can partner up with another team member who has strengths in the area that you don't. You know, find some creative ways. Be creative about it. If you're willing to go to some extra training to do your job better, many times your boss will make that investment because you have taken the initiative, right? Bosses love to see us take the, uh, the initiative. So number one, have an open mind. Number two, don't get surprised. Number three, show your growth. Number four, come with a plan. And here is your bonus tip. Number five, you don't have to do this, okay? But I want to encourage you to give it a try, okay? Show up to your next performance review with goals and accomplishments that you have succeeded at over the last year. Goals and accomplishments. This isn't just good for your boss, okay? This is good for you as you grow, both as an employee and a person. So show up with some proven examples of what you've accomplished. Give some examples of what you've done that goes above and beyond the normal expectations. You know, more than just your required tasks. Okay, so let's do a quick recap again of what we went over today in order to rock your next performance review. Number one, have an open mind. Number two, don't get surprised. Number three, show your growth. Number four, come with a plan. And number five, your bonus tip, prove what you've accomplished. And remember that your next performance review does not have to be filled with stress. Take some time to prepare and make the most of your next meeting with your boss. I hope this episode was helpful for you today. And if so, please share with others. If you haven't already, don't forget to go leave us a review. And if you need some assistance with learning how to be confident to go into your next performance review, 
don't hesitate to reach out to our Central Missouri Job Centers for assistance from one of our career managers. They're happy to help. You can find your closest job center at cwdregion.com slash job centers, and I will share the link to that in the show notes as well. Have a great week, and we will meet again in the next episode. Until then, remember this. There's always a brighter tomorrow if you're willing to find it. The Central Region Workforce Development Board Incorporated and COPIC are equal opportunity employers and programs. Auxiliary aids and services are available upon request to individuals with disabilities. Missouri Relay Services at 711.